Hey guys, what's going on? Joel here and welcome to Back in the Day. So, um, oddly enough, the other day I was outside um, doing some yard work, cleaning my wife and I were washing vehicles, you know, about, you know cleaning the truck and, and, and all that fun stuff. And um, the mail lady comes and drops this package off. And much to my surprise, um, it was an extremely unexpected package from uh, Sean from Retro Reminiscence. I had no idea he was planning on sending me anything. So uh, I did not get a chance to open it up yet. I wanted to do an unboxing and then uh, you know put it up on, on the YouTube channel. I've just been really, really busy the past couple of days, so I have not really had the opportunity So uh, until uh, this morning. I, I apologize if I sound a little out of it. I actually I just got up about an hour ago. Um, I'm on uh, on the four to midnight run. So uh, when I got home last night, actually, I, I, I had a beer and some Captain Crunch, and then went to bed around like one o'clock. So I, I just got up. I'm gonna be hitting the gym here. Uh, actually, as soon as I'm done filming this, I'll get it uploaded later this afternoon. But uh, yeah, so that's why I uh, I sound a little on the maybe on the groggy side. I, I I'm not. Fully coherent and with it yet, but I did want to get this recorded. So, uh, yeah, Sean, man, I, I really, uh, dude, I appreciate uh, you you sending me this. I know I texted you and it said, uh, you know, hey, dude, I got your package. It was completely unexpected, but uh, I, uh, I took the appropriate, I took the, the packing label off so nobody knows my address uh, and nobody knows his. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get this bad boy unboxed. You know, and you would think, you'd think that after the last unboxing, I would get uh, a, a knife that probably worked a little bit better, but this was the, this was liter literally the first uh, knife in the, in the drawer that I, oh, there we go, that's not too bad. It was the first knife in the drawer that I actually uh, had, uh, had grabbed. So, let's see here. Oh, dude. Dude. That is fucking sweet. I had wanted one of these. I actually had just looked on the website, the Nintendo website, and I was wondering when these were going to go up for sale. Um, as you guys recall, um, he uh, he gave me the uh, the Nintendo console, keepsake console, last year. Um, so, dude, thank you so much. This is going to stay in the collection. I know, uh, I'm sure uh, if you had sent one to NES Addict, I'm pretty sure he's going to open his up. Uh, me, I'm going to keep this sealed because this is just such a cool collector's piece. Um, but, dude, yeah, thank you. So, so fantastic. That's awesome. Um, and here we have... Oh, dude, that is badass. Did you did you make this? This is like a, not a brandy glass, but like a, dude, that is so cool. That is a really, really original idea. Sean, it's funny, he had, he had asked me what my favorite video game was. Uh, and I had I had told him that uh, Final Fantasy II. This is my my all time favorite uh, video game, um, just because of the memories. I mean, it's probably not the greatest game in the world, but uh, yeah, that's really really cool. Like that's gonna make a nice little like I'd like to use it, but I can tell this is very like homemade. Did you, John? John, did you make this yourself? Like that's because I don't want that to, to to wear off. Wow, dude, that is really cool. That is so cool. But I, I told him Final Fantasy 2. And then... Oh, cool. Rob Zombie, House of a Thousand Corpses. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge horror fan. Um, but that's cool. I'll definitely, I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. Um, I myself, like I said, I've never, uh, 
I've never seen it because I'm not I'm not the biggest horror fan, but I will definitely give that a uh, give that a check out. Cool. A uh, in a a Super Mario World. Uh, this is actually this is this is funny. This is actually the third uh, uh, instruction manual now that I that I have. I uh, I, I purchased Super Mario World uh, in a, uh, a repro box uh, a couple of months ago, and the instruction manual that came with it was beat to hell. So I I, I trolled eBay and I found one that was in better shape, um, and then. Obviously, you know, you've, this one's actually in better shape than the first uh, manual that had uh, that had come with the the um, the the game itself. But uh, yeah, dude, like, thank you. That is really cool. Like, that is, dude, that was so very kind of you. I mean, like I've said, my 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 reaction to this is is, is very genuine. Um, Honestly, man, like, thank you. And I know you had said this is like a bit of an early Christmas present. I've, like I said, Sean, I've got a couple of really cool things that I want to get sent to you. I got a, they're they're buried in in totes in my basement, and they're they're very special to me. And I think that there's something I think that you would very much appreciate, and I want to send uh, to you. But uh, yeah, um, once again, a a very big thank you uh, to Sean from Retro Reminiscence. Um, Try to get a better shot of everything here. So, all right. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this really cool unboxing of uh, the the stuff that Sean sent me. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. And uh, yeah, uh, until the the next unboxing, I've got some stuff coming up here that I want to want to do video wise. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, Sean. And uh, remember, guys, if you uh, like the video, make sure and like the video. Uh, if you like my content, make sure to subscribe. And until the next one, I will see you guys later.